before you start, it's extremely important that you fully clean and sanitize all of your equipment that will come in contact with your brew. This is the most crucial step in home brewing. I've included a link above if you need any help. So, welcome back 40 Pointers. Thanks for watching. Today I thought I'd show you how to make Mangrove Jack's Craft Series Bavarian Wheat Beer. On the back of the pouch you'll find some brief instructions. For best results you're going to want to use 1.2 kilograms of LME or Mangrove Jack's Beer Enhancer, but you can use any fermentables um, if you wish. Just check the description for the amounts. So using a pair of sanitized scissors carefully cut open the top of your pouch just be careful as you'll be exposing the malt inside you'll find full instructions and also a packet of mangrove jacks m20 bavarian yeast next up grab yourself a saucepan etc and place both pouches if you're using them inside Top up with boiling water and leave for around 10 minutes to allow the malt to be easier to pour out. If you're using DME or a dried beer enhancer, you can put that in first and dissolve with one litre of cold water. Then you can add your pouch. Put a little bit of hot water inside to get the last dregs out. Just be careful as this will be a bit hot. You now want to add between one and three quarters to two and a quarter litres of boiling water. Your cold water tap is obviously going to be a lot colder in the winter than in the summer. Give it all a good stir, making sure everything is fully dissolved. You now want to top up with cold water to the 23 litre mark or the 6 US gallon mark for my American viewers. Make sure you stir vigorously as you want to put in as much oxygen as possible as this will help your yeast grow. Now take a 100 milliliter wort sample, I'm using a wine thief, then take your temperature, you're aiming for below 24 degrees before you can pitch your yeast, then you can take your readings, just check the description to get your temperature adjusted hydrometer readings and record this in your log. You can now pitch your yeast, but don't stir it. Fit your lid on securely, put your thermal well in if you're using one, then install your airlock making sure you fill it halfway. So for best results you want to ferment between 18 to 21 degrees or 64 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The total time in the fermenter will be two weeks. So on days 11 and 12 you want to take your final gravity readings. These must be the same to show fermentation has stopped before you can cold crash and add your beer findings. This is very important. So after your readings are the same for two days, you can now cold crash between 1 to 3 degrees or add beer findings or you can do both. This will take two days to clear your brew. Two weeks has finally arrived and you can now batch prime and bottle all of your hard work. I've included a link above if you need any help. Maturing or aging your brew is a very crucial step in improving your flavours. Try to aim between one to three months if you can, but it's going to be hard not to resist. 
Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Stay safe.